Let me just confirm. Yes, all tasks on the checklist are complete. Traveler, Paimon, we are grateful for your assistance. Thank goodness you were able to come as soon as we contacted you. Who knows how we would have coped with all these commissions otherwise. short on people, we thought we were going to be in for another long and drawn-out adventure. Being the seasoned adventurers that you are, it's true that you are suited to work of a much higher caliber than your recent assignments. However, this situation is unavoidable in Mondstadt at this time of year. Huh? Why is that? That's right. This is the ideal season for harvesting crops and fruits. And for the wine capital of Tavat, it's also the all-important winemaking season. Farmers are anxious to sell off their fresh produce, and all the major wine merchants are seeking to purchase top-quality ingredients to make new product. Ah, well no wonder we keep hearing people talking about wine these days. Huh? What do you mean? Seriously? Yes, I swear I'm not making this up. The Acting Grandmaster wants everyone to gather at headquarters in the main hall. Hurry! We need to leave right now or we'll be late! Hey! Wait up! Uh, why do those two knights look so... flustered? Well, hello there. If it isn't the Traveler and Paimon. What a rare pleasure. Don't worry. This isn't one of those occasions where you need to come to everyone's rescue. All that's happened is that the Knights of Favonius have just received a letter from the Grand Master. Acting Grand Master Jean will be convening a meeting in the main hall shortly to go through it. Whew. Well, that's a relief. Wait, hold on a second. What did you say? So interested in our Grand Master all of a sudden? Never knew you were such a gossip. It's only normal, isn't it? That you'd be curious too if there was someone you'd heard loads about but never met. Even Master Jean says he's a living legend. Oh, pretty hard not to get hyped up after hearing that. Besides, the expedition has been going on for ages. And we still never heard a single thing about what they're up to. <laughs> The acting Grand Master is very gracious in her appraisal. Varka brought quite a bit of trouble to those around him on the road to becoming a legend. I'll have to tell you about it sometime. Anyway, since this has piqued your interest, why don't you join me at headquarters? And we'll see what the letter says. We do miss our honorary knight, after all. It's been quite a long time since your last visit. Sure! Let's go and see what it's all about! care now. Wouldn't gliding be faster?
Looks like just about everyone's here. Hey there, cutie. Paimon, I didn't know you two would be coming. So you heard about the letter? Yep, we ran into Kaya near the Adventurer's Guild. Oh, wow. Paimon's never seen so many people in the main hall at once before. Oh, Paimon's getting kind of nervous now. <laughs> Don't get too carried away, all right? If I know the Grand Master, the fact that he has the time to be writing letters means it's probably nothing serious. It certainly won't be bad news. Kaya's exaggerating a little, but otherwise I agree. After all, Mika's not the kind of person who'd be able to keep it hidden if something were the matter. The truth would be written all over his face. Over there, look. The kid standing next to Jean in front of the staircase? He used to be a land surveyor in Eula's team. He's very talented in what he does, and a very reliable person. When the expedition team set out, the Grand Master appointed him to be the core member of the frontline team. He's the one that brought back the letter. Please, may I have your attention, everyone? Now that we're all here, let's begin reading out the letter from the Grand Master. <clears throat> Mika, Please, go ahead. Y yes master Jean. Uh, right. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. I am Mika, surveyor of the Reconnaissance Company. Uh, recently, I have been taking part in an assignment with the expedition team. I will now be reading Grandmaster Varka's letter allowed for you all <clears throat> to the knights of favonius greetings everyone this is varka the first thing i want to say to you all is please put your minds at ease the expedition is safe and all of its members are accounted for oh well, that's fantastic news <sighs> My palms are sweating. <sighs> um, may I continue? Go ahead, Mika. All right. Now that your fears are allayed, I trust you'll be ready to listen to the rest of my letter. I'm writing to you from the northernmost reaches of Tevat by the light of a stove. The expedition forces are stationed here while we restock. I once told you that the purpose of this expedition was related to a dangerous secret from days long past. I am still unable to disclose more than this, but suffice to say that you needn't worry about how our mission is progressing. In the past couple of months, we received an unexpected visitor. The Fatui Harbinger known as... The Captain. Uh, the Captain? I am fully aware of the Fatui's outrageous actions in Mondstadt in recent history. Nevertheless, the Captain was not hostile towards us on this occasion. Open parenthesis. I rather suspect that's because this time, Snezhnaya and we are in the same boat. Close parenthesis. The man hides everything under the mask he wears, so no one can know his past or his origins. However, one thing is for sure. He is as hard as iron for having the courage to challenge gods as an ordinary mortal. I don't doubt that he could even take out a ruin guard by stabbing it in its big, glowing eye with one of Klee's crayons. Open parenthesis, don't get any ideas. Close parenthesis. Our scouts have confirmed that the captain received orders to head for Natlon three days ago. We'll be able to sleep much better now 
that we don't need to worry about him anymore. I will admit that some of his actions have helped us, but even then, he owed us at least that much. This year's Weinlesefest must be kicking off in Mondstadt any day now. What a great pity that this year, once again, we will be unable to spend the festival together. Everyone here is always thinking back fondly upon the fine wines of Mondstadt, as well as the happy times we have spent with each and every one of you. I hope that you and all the citizens of Mondstadt enjoy the festival to the fullest. Have a few drinks on our behalf. The Dawn Winery's limited edition Vine Laserfest seasonal special will do nicely. May Lord Barbados bless Mondstadt and may the wind carry our sentiments back to your side. Varka. P.S. If you're wondering who's tougher between me and the captain, well, I'm the Grand Master. There are ten captains in the Knights of Favonius, but only one Grand Master. Ah, ha, 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 ha. His left, not mine. The letter ends here. Thank you, everyone, for your attention. Thank you, Mika. Master Jean, um, I just noticed that there's something else written on the back of the last page. <clears throat> P.P.S. I ran out of paper, so I'll add this here. Lisa, the following is a message for you. Uh, oh, uh, this part seems to be from the Grand Master to Miss Lisa. Oh, for me? Uh, seeing that it's a special message, Lisa, we'll discuss this in private. Everyone, as the Grand Master mentioned in his letter, the Vinlesa Fest is in just a few days. And how fortunate we are at this time to receive word that all is well with the expedition. Though they are unable to return to Mondstadt and spend the festival with us, the Vinlesa Fest will nonetheless be a major event that all of Mondstadt is looking forward to. I hope that everyone will guard your stations and perform your duties, both for our far-flung colleagues involved in the expedition and also for the hard-working people of Mondstadt. And of course, during your time off, I hope you will be able to rest, relax, and enjoy this long-awaited festival. That brings our meeting to a close. Dismissed. Did Paimon hear that right? They ran into the Fatui's captain? Hmm... Who knows what that was about? But it must have been important. But uh, Fatui Shmatui, the real big deal here is the Vine Lisa Fest. Sounds like there'll be loads of free food and drink. Paima wants to hear more. Hey cuties, how about we go and chat with Jean? You didn't get a chance to say a proper hello with so many people here. Um, you must be looking for Captain Kaya? Please, don't mind me. Oh, uh, wait, but what? Oh, jeez, Captain Kaya, w what should I say? <laughs> oh, Mika, how have you not changed one bit after being on the front line this long? You were just asking me about the storm terror incident, weren't you? Well, allow me to introduce you to the legendary Honorary Knight. That's right! And also the legendary Paimon! <laughs> Hi there! You guys are so strong! I'm... I'm in awe! Um... I have to go and report in with Captain Eula now. Please excuse me. Bad. Paimon was going to ask him all about the expedition. 
That is a pity, it really is. But don't take it the wrong way. The way he sees it, every pair of eyes in Mondstadt is focused squarely on you. Give it some time, and this will all sort itself out. Next time you see him, I'm sure you'll get along just fine. In fact, let me share a little secret with you. Try talking to him about exploring the wild. You'll win his trust in no time. you believe the expedition party ran into the captain of the Fatui? Huh. <sighs> what a relief that nothing came of it. What's there to be afraid of? The Grand Master is there. One Grand Master should be able to take on at least, like, ten captains. Wait, forget that. You shouldn't be worrying about the expedition when you've got the Knights of Favonia's charity fundraising booth that you're supposed to be organizing. So, how's it coming along? Uh, actually... I still haven't really decided what to sell. Ah, oh, Lisa. The Grandmaster's letter is just on the table. Traveler, Paimon, it's been a long time. Apologies, I didn't get the chance to talk with you during the meeting just now. If you don't have any plans in the immediate future, why not stay in Mondstadt for a while? We'll be celebrating the Vine Lesa Fest very soon. Don't be deceived. Jean may appear very composed, but she's been missing you both terribly recently. <sighs> Lisa... <laughs> I'll leave you to catch up. I'm going to read my letter. That's where our journey began, after all. We have a lot of fond memories here. Um, Master Jean, neither of us really knows anything about this Vine Lysa Fest. Could you tell us more about it? Yes, of course. The Vine Lysa Fest is an ancient Mondstadt festival, just like Ludi Harpastum and Windbloom. In addition, it's the most important part of the fall. Each fall, the west wind blows in Mondstadt. Legend has it that the wonderful scent of Mondstadt's winemaking during the harvest season entices even the Animo Archon into attendance, being the great wine lover that he is. No matter where he is, he will transform into a soft breeze and return to his homeland. <sighs> yeah, that sounds like the Animo Archon, all right. For this reason, Mondstatters call the western wind the returning wind. The Vinlesa Fest originally began as a celebration to welcome Lord Barbados on his return. In the past, every household would brew fresh wine around this time of year and keep it sealed at least until windcoming day during the following year's Vinlesa Fest. Uncasking the sealed wine is a symbolic way of inviting the Animo Archon to share a drink. Legend holds that if the Animo Archon is satisfied with the taste of the wine, he will summon a gentle breeze to richly bless the people. Knowing him, it was probably blessing them with more good wine the next year. That's a good question. Hmm. Huh. But there's really no way of knowing. These are very old stories. Many of the details have been lost to time. Yep. Some stories change completely as they get passed down. Hence why these days, Mondstatters will get into endless arguments over what kind of flower a wind bloom is. Hmm. All part of how cultural heritage is created. Indeed. But for the time being, at least, the tradition of paying tribute to the Animo Archon on Windcoming Day is still alive and well, and the Vine Lesa Fest remains a time for Mondstatters to share the joy of the harvest with one another as they partake of fine wines. This is a time of the year when many Mondstatters living away from Mondstadt return to their hometown. For those unable to return, Vine Lesa Fest is the period when they miss their family and friends most keenly. Oh, so that's why the Grandmaster wrote, May the wind carry our sentiments back to your side. For this year, we've joined forces with the Church of Favonius and the Adventurers Guild to host a celebration on the banks of Cider Lake, just outside of Springvale. 
There will also be a traditional wine market during the festival period. Wine market? Well, originally, it was simply a place where winemakers and farmers would come to trade in raw ingredients for winemaking. These days, it is a much grander affair. Not only will you find a range of choice wines, but seasonal fruit beverages and food items for everyone to enjoy too. A lot of people also sell secondhand goods and handicrafts at the market. The Knights of Favonius plan to use this as an opportunity to do some fundraising for needy children and elderly people in the city. Wow, sounds pretty cool! If you have the time, I encourage you to take a look around. I hope you'll find it a worthwhile experience. Um, now, Lisa, what was the Grand Master's message to you about? I was just about to bring that up. The Grand Master says he wants me to handle something for him. Something to do with Razor's past. Razor told us that he was raised by a pack of wolves in Wolvingdom. He never knew his parents. In his own words, the wolf pack is his lupico, which means family. Yes, that was as much as I knew as well. But in his letter, the Grand Master says that in the cabinet above the third bookshelf, to the right of the grandfather clock in Jean's office, there's a wooden box containing some items that Razor's parents left for him. He says it's time to give the box to Razor. Does this mean the Grand Master knew Razor's parents? It would seem so. The Grand Master didn't simply run into Razor one day in Wolvendom and teach him how to use a sword. No. The connection between them goes back much further. Wow! Well, come on! Let's go find Razor! He'll be pretty excited to find out something about his true parents! Hmm... Oh, cutie. Nothing escapes your eyes, does it? For the child who never met their biological parents, this kind of conversation is always a difficult one. Even for the most well-adjusted. By contrast, Razor grew up in Wolvendom and has had very limited contact with human society. Who knows whether he's ready for this or not? I'm sure the Grand Master will have given due consideration to Razor's circumstances. Perhaps he felt that now would be the most appropriate time. Hmm, that's a good point. Okay, cuties, can I leave you to break the news to Razor? He thinks of me as his teacher, so he might not open up to me if he gets upset. But you are his trusted friends. I think it makes more sense for him to hear about this from you. Thank you, sweetie. Try to be as encouraging as you can. Someone his age needs all the love and support they can get.
Nitro traces lead deep into wolfing them. Let's keep going. Last trap has been set. Razor, thanks for coming with me all this way. It's okay. My legs are strong. Hmm? What is it, Razor? <laughs> it smells familiar. Friend, from far away. hunting together? Yes, it's almost harvest season, and the boars are venturing into the towns and wineries looking for food. They're trampling crops and destroying the vineyards. Someone could get seriously hurt. The Knights of Favonius came to us asking for help, keeping the boars a safe distance away from the population. I and Uncle Browncat catch boars, protect everyone. Wow, Razor! This is a big step for you! Paimon remembers you used to hide away from the hunters. <laughs> you can say that again. Razor was the star of the show this time. He let the wolves know we'd be coming, so we were able to get through Wolvendom without anyone getting hurt. Helping everyone, helping Lupacal, makes me happy. <sighs> but much talking. Very tired now. Yeah! But, um... Actually, we came here today because we have some really important news. Oh, I don't know. Razor, do you mean you don't want to know about your real parents? I want to know, but don't want to know. Uh, so you do you want to know, but at the same time you don't want to know? Ugh, oh, sounds complicated. Traveler, come and take a look at the trap I just placed. Let's give Razor some space to process things. Ah, uh, yes, I have some thoughts about this after seeing how Razor reacted. We've been hunting together a lot recently. The kid might not talk much, but still, I feel like I've come to understand him a little over the time we've spent together. Here's what I think. He definitely wants to find out about his parents. It's just that his fear of the unknown is overwhelming everything else he's feeling. I'm a father myself, so I know a thing or two about kids. You know, when Diana was little, if I got back late from a hunt one night, she'd be watching me like a hawk for days afterwards, as if she was worried that I might abandon her. Do you mean Razor's worried that he was abandoned by his own parents? Exactly. I think that's the heart of it. And if it turns out they did, well, I don't think there's anything we could say to console him. That's not my only concern, though. Razor is developing at his own pace. There are lots of issues that can't be solved all in one go, but he's making progress, one step at a time. But now this thing with his parents is added into the mix. It might push him to want to figure out once and for all where he comes from and where he's going. A similar take to Lisa's. Hmm. Maybe all mature adults think like this, huh? Wait, but then again, Master Jean had a different view. She said it's more about trusting other people and in your own instincts. Oh, what do you think? Gotcha. Well, knowing that he's got a friend like you to rely on, Makes me feel much better about this whole thing. Okay, got it. Right, let's head back. We don't want to keep him waiting. Hey, Razor. So, what are your thoughts? Still thinking. My heart, it 
feels strange, like being stabbed by a wolf hook. Varka? Hmm. Tall, very strong, likes to laugh. Yes, trust. He's very good to me. Give me a name. Teach me to fight. But now, busy with important work, I miss him. You know, Razor, Farka used up all the paper writing this letter, but he still made sure he found room on the back to add a note for Lisa. He specifically told her to give you the things that your parents left for you. That means that he thinks the items have a special meaning for you. But more importantly than that, whatever happens, the Traveler, Paimon, Lisa, and all your other friends will always be here for you. That's right. And old Uncle Brown Cat's here to support you as well. Okay. Thank you. I decide... I want to go with you. To see teacher. <laughs> That's the spirit, kiddo. Well, you folks better be heading off then. I'm just about finished here, so I'll be heading home very shortly myself. <sighs> I'd better try and get plenty of father-daughter time in before the uh, fine laser fest starts. <laughs> Hello, teacher. I'm here to see the box. Ah, oh, my little wolf cub's in a good mood. I'm assuming they've discussed the whole story with you already? Here, this is it. The wooden box. I haven't touched it, except for taking it out of the cabinet. When you're sure you're ready, you can open it yourself. Yes, I am sure. This is just a pile of junk. Paimon thought there'd at least be a letter or something. Uh-oh. You don't think that, after all this time, Varka might be getting mixed up between different boxes? <laughs> there is a scent. A scent? What kind? A scent I remember from a long, long time ago. It's their scent. Human scent. Father and mother scent. Oh, incredible. You still remember scents from all the way back in your childhood. Wow. You have a really good sense of smell, Razor. Guess being wild by nature has its advantages. Oh, let's see what other leads we can find. Hmm. This woolen hand puppet looks kind of wonky. Guess it must be handmade, huh? Is this a part from a ruin guard? Wait! Hey, look! This wine bottle is still half full! And there's a note stuck on it. Thousand. Uh, Thousand Wind Wine. Oh, so it's a bottle of Thousand Wind Wine? Teacher, you know? Of course. Thousand Wind Wine was the first kind of wine that Mondstadters ever learned to make, or so they say. As to how it got its name, some say it's a reference to the numerous ingredients used to make it, while others say it's because every bottle tastes slightly different. I remember reading somewhere that there are all sorts of weird and wonderful ways of brewing it, and that it's very difficult to ensure it comes out tasting the same each time. This all makes it impractical to commercialize. Wine merchants are much more comfortable working with reliable, consistent tasting products. That's why you'll almost never see Thousand Wind wine in the markets or taverns. Huh. In fact, it looks like your parents brewed this bottle themselves. The 
That must mean there's something pretty important about it. <gasps> oh, Paimon has an idea! Razor, you got a good nose. Why don't you open it up and take a whiff? Maybe it'll tell you something. Okay. Huh. He seems really in the zone. And is that a smile? Find anything? Sweet. Cold. A little bitter. I like many things all mixed together. Ugh, but things in wine smell different. Even you can't tell what it is, Razor? I will try again. <sighs> it's okay, Razor. Don't push yourself too hard. What do we do when we try something and it doesn't work? Try another way. That's right. You still remember what I taught you. Oh, it's almost the Vine Lisa Fest. Everyone who knows anything worth knowing about wine will be gathering in Mondstadt. Surely someone will know a thing or two about Thousand Wind Wine. Oh, great idea! Make sure you don't miss the opening ceremony, cutie. Everyone will be there. Razor, you should go too. It'll be a good opportunity to ask around. Okay. Ask many people. I will try. Don't worry. We'll be right there with you. We can be your go-betweens. You know, like you were with the wolves for draft. Okay. Then I will go back now. I need to tell Lupacall about human mother and human father. Great! See you at the opening ceremony! Right now, I wish it was sitting in it. everyone for your patience. I am pleased to announce that this year's Vinlesa Fest has officially begun. We hope the residents of Mondstadt and visitors from all over will enjoy the magnificent wines and experience the joy of the harvest. When wind coming day arrives, we will hold a grand toasting ceremony to welcome the Animo Archon Barbados back home. 
Let the wind lead. Let the wind lead! Fraser, you're here already! Hmm, so many people. Come on, let's sneak out of here. There's someone we gotta find. Find? Who? Oh. Just some tone deaf bard. But he's also a know-it-all and loves nothing more than drinking, so he might actually be able to help. The best wine in town. Hey, Tone Ford! Traveler, Paimon, how do you do? <laughs> I had a feeling I'd run into you soon during this most enchanting of festivals. Spoken like a true poet. Hmm. But reading between the lines here. If one bottle is tipsy and two is merry, just how many is enchanting exactly? <laughs> oh, don't say that. This festival has so much more to offer than just drinking. Anyway, hey Razor, how have you been? All right, I have a question. Yeah, Razor has something he wants to ask you about. Know anything about Thousand Wind Wine? Ooh, now there's a name that takes me back. <laughs> Let me think. How long has it been since I last heard someone mention Thousand Wind Wine? Razor's parents left him a box with a half bottle of wine inside. And there's a label on it that says Thousand Wind Wine. We heard there's a lot of history behind this type of wine, and the brewing methods go way, way back. So we figured you'd be a good person to ask. It smells good, but don't know what's inside. I see, I see. So you want to know how Thousand Wind wine is made? Well, you came to the right person. I happen to know a little rhyme called, well, as it happens, Thousand Wind Wine. I was going to save it for wind coming day, but far be it from me to deny an early serenade to a friend in need. How about it? Shall I recite it for you? A song. Not easy to understand, but still one to hear. Excellent answer. Then, uh, hear it you shall. Fill up the barrels and store them away. Then wait, wait for a windier day. Wax the bottles, seal them tight, for the south wind that soothes, for the north wind that bites. How does this fine wine taste to the tongue? As Mondstadt to the ear, like a sweet dream of freedom. And what are the fruits that went into the brew? An explorer's courage, a love tender and true. A defender's will, strong as yesteryear, Joining the thousand winds in a song of good cheer. Turning sour into sweet, bitter notes fade away. As we wait, wait for a windier day. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the applause. Uh, was the rhyme of help to you? Like wine, a little sweet, but now head spinning. Don't understand. Don't worry, it's not just you. That was supposed to be about winemaking, but it didn't give a single detail about the process. <laughs> well, maybe it's a little abstract and romanticized, but that's one of the defining features of Mondstadt poetry. Okay, so let's try to pin this down. What did the poem say the ingredients are? Hmm. Um, an explorer's courage, a love tender and true, a defender's will, and the thousand winds? Song of good cheer? Nope, Paimon has absolutely no idea what any of these refer to. Look, Tone 
Deaf Bard. You clearly know what the whole thing means, so could you do us a favor and at least give us a hint? You misunderstand me. I'm not trying to make you work for it or anything, but the lyrics are what they are. If there's anything they left out, even I can't fill in the blanks. If you want to know the secret behind this sweet scent, you might have to start by rolling up your sleeves. Rolling up our sleeves? You mean we need to go and make this wine for ourselves? And somehow that'll teach us everything we want to know? Oh, this better not be a prank! We've known each other for so long, and you still don't trust my intentions? Oh, oh the pain! I trust. I want to try. I want to make wine and find answers. If I know how to make wine, then I know what is in father and mother's wine. Right. I want to know about them. If you say so, Razor, guess we'll have to take Tone Deaf Bard's word on this one. We'll give it a try, and as first-time winemakers, there's no shame if it turns out bad. Don't worry, really. Freedom is the key here. It's not as hard as you might think. As long as you add ingredients to the mix in a spirit of joy and sincerity, I promise you will reap the rewards you wish for. Hmm. I will tell Poem to teach her. Then, I need to think alone. That's the spirit! So, how about we meet again in two days? Let's say, same place right here? Okay, I will remember. See you then. but they all sounded super abstract. An explorer's courage, a love tender and true, a defender's will, and the thousand winds song of good cheer. Do you have any ideas? Yeesh, that's even more abstract. How do we go about looking for this wine's character? Where do we start? Huh? Are you saying that it has something to do with Mondstadt's institutions? Wow, that actually makes a surprising amount of sense. So the poem wasn't talking about any specific ingredients after all. More like the general gist. Now that you mention it, it just so happens that all the institutions... 
institutions you mentioned are organizers of the Violaza Fest. Wait, this is way too big of a coincidence. That Toad Deaf Bar, did he just make all this up on the spot? In that case, the last part about the Thousand Winds Song of Cheer must be code for the toasting ceremony. Oh, now we're cooking! We'll crack your riddle recipe yet, Tone Deaf Bard! When Razor gets here, let's visit all the places you mentioned and talk to some people we know there. We definitely should be able to find some more clues that way. Miss Honorary Knight, Paimon! I'm sorry. I'm late. That's all right. They were just chatting. The Traveler's pretty smart, so thanks to her, we're finally... I was on my way, then I saw Klee. They let me out for a Vinalesa Fest. Albedo is super busy helping Timaeus fix his recipe for an extra strong sobriety potion. So he doesn't have time to come play with me right now. I'm just playing by myself instead. But it's so cool! All the grown-ups in Mondstadt are out to celebrate the festival! Everyone's smiling and having loads of fun! I wanted to join in too, so I made a whole bunch of stuff so I can celebrate with everyone in my very own way. Very own way? Uh-oh, this does not bode well coming from Glee. And that's when I bumped into Razor! Razor was acting kind of different than usual, like he was thinking about something. So I asked him what happened. And then Razor said that he was looking for his mommy. <laughs> I did not say mommy. Oh, it's okay, silly. Mommies are important people, so finding your mommy is a super important job. That's why Klee's gonna come help. <sighs> Razor! Razor! Finally, I found you! Bennett? Oh! <laughs> Look who's here! Hey, everyone! Here, this is for you! Uh, a small lamp grass? Yep, that's right. I tripped up on it this morning and took a little tumble. I did a full face plant, but somehow this little thing came out completely unscathed. That's when I knew it was destined to go into your wine mix. Bennett, how did you manage to trip up on a small lamp grass? Huh, that's true. They do glow after all. No, no, I wasn't talking about the glowing. What I meant was, they're really big and easy to spot. So, I don't get how you didn't see it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was just running too fast and got careless, I guess. Okay, I guess maybe I won't tell them about the other face plants that came after that. Anyway, I've been all over the place trying to find Razor this morning. Everyone I asked told me I just missed him. Good thing I've caught up now. I can finally catch my breath. Thanks. How did you know I need ingredients? Oh, that? Yeah, interesting story. This lady came to see Master Cyrus, asking for the Adventurer Guild's support with the Vine Lace Fest. She said she was a librarian. Anyway, she mentioned your situation too, and asked if we could help. Whoa, Lisa is doing some real work for once? Oh, so that was Lisa? People say she's crazy intelligent, but just doesn't go out much. First time I've ever seen her. I thought long and hard about what ingredients to pick and came up with a load of suggestions that I was going to discuss with you. 
But then I realized that small lamp grass was clearly the best. It shines a light to guide the way for explorers in the dark. Doesn't that sound like a wonderful thing? Oh, apologies for the trouble. Ah, don't give me that. I get how you must be feeling about all of this. Besides, you gotta help out your friends, right? If my family, uh, well, my dad's ever needed help one day, I know you'd be there for me too. Yes. Can I help too? Please take me with you, please. I wanna join in. Please in high spirits today. She seems more excited by this festival than anyone. Bennett, before now, you never talk about your family. Uh, <laughs> well, that's because I never met my parents. I was raised by some of the older adventurers in the guild, so we're not exactly a typical family. But if you do want to hear about them, I can tell you some of my dad's stories. Mm. Okay, I'll start with the most awesome one. Oh, Bennett. You can be Mommy's kid, just like Clee. My mom is super nice. She'll take great care of you. Huh? Hmm. I really appreciate the thought, Clee, but I'm afraid I can't accept your offer. I already have my dads and all my friends. And let's not forget that I'm the leader of Benny's adventure team. You don't need to worry about me. Oh, okay. I got it. Um, then have this. A jumpy donkey? Yeah, it's a lazy, dopey, jumpy dumpty that always dozes and never explodes. I hope you guys can be best friends. Are you sure? Jumpy Dumpty will be happy to make a new friend, too. I'm also happy for you. Good idea! Maybe Clee will bring Bennett some good luck, and the adventure will go smoothly. And you might just find some treasures you'd never noticed before. Of course, it's also highly possible that Clee will be the only one who gets lucky. Still, on the flip side, Clee won't be getting into any trouble with Bennett there, and this way she'll still get to enjoy the Violetta Fest. Cool. Don't worry about a thing. We'll look after each other. Yay! Adventure! Treasure! Violetta Fest! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> oh, wait, but what about Wolfie? Wolfie, uh, I mean, Razor needs looking after. Honorary Knight, Paimon, you'd better take care of Razor, okay? Make sure he finds his mommy. <laughs> Good luck. Venti mentioned in his poem. We think that they're actually a description of the wine's characteristics. Plus, it seems like each of them means something special to one of the three big institutions in Mondstadt. So if we talk to some people we know at each place, maybe we'll find what you're looking for. <sighs> What's wrong? Something on your mind? Do you want to talk about it? Yes, these days I think a lot. I am not smart, not like teacher, not like traveler, but I still have to think. Everyone is ready to help, but some things I must do myself. I don't understand human father and mother, but I must find a way to understand. Maybe I can learn about other people's father and mother first, then think about my own father and mother. 
That's why I want to ask questions. That's great! Keep at it and you'll definitely find the answer eventually. Never knew Bennett is like me. When he talks about dads, his scent changes. Warm, like a bed of straw in the sun. into the city. Let's find a friendly face at the Church of Favonius. Hmm. Now, who does Razor know best at the church? Excuse me? I couldn't help but overhear you're about to head back into the city. Is that right? I'm waiting on a fruit cart from the city. It should be here now, but I'm getting worried that something may have happened on the way. But I can't leave the festival to check up on it. Would you be able to do me a huge favor and keep an eye out for the cart on your way back? Um, well, if it's on the way... Okay, we go. I go too. Everyone helps me. Now I have chance to help everyone. <laughs> That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Would it gliding be faster? <laughs> this way. Oh, Paimon sees the cart, but what are these hilly trails doing here? Do they want some fresh fruit now, too? their own good. But never mind that. Are you okay? Did they hurt you? Phew. I'm fine, thanks to you. You are just in time. Any later and all you found here is a pile of pulp. And I don't think there'd be much left of the fruit either. Got it. Well, thanks again. I'd better not delay this delivery any longer. So, goodbye and happy Vine Lace Fest. Thanks to you too, kiddo. <sighs> Enemy following. Enemy? <laughs> I think we're a little closer than that. On some level, you could even say that we're brother and sister. Varka taught you how to use that sword, I take it. Swift, but powerful. <laughs> I can spot that old-timer's style anywhere. Uh, huh? I see you're not much of a talker. <laughs> well, there's something else you could learn from Varka. Never lost for words, even when he has nothing to say. It'd be good conversation practice for you. Just a shame we have no idea when I'll be back. It's okay. I will wait. Brother and sister? Varka? Oh, Paimon gets it. Varka is a father figure to both of them, so that makes them family. Just not by blood. Well, blood relations are overrated anyway, don't you think? I get it. In the final moments of your life, People there with you won't necessarily be your blood relatives. Qu 
cold, dark grown-up. You also don't remember what your real mother and real father look like? Huh. So you're helping him dig up some info on his biological parents. And trying to help him build a concept of family along the way. All right, you got me. I barely have any memories of my birth parents. The last time I saw them was long before I had any understanding of the world around me. But that seems pretty common. Even in this day and age, there are plenty of people in the world who can't stop thinking about their families, but will never get to see them. Anyway, if you're never gonna meet someone, it's not worth spending mental energy on them. It's more important to focus on the kind of person you want to become. No, you are wrong about this. Lupico protect each other. Human family, also important. Must care about them. Fine. So let's say you do find out who your parents were and they were saints. Or the opposite, they were complete monsters. What then? How would that affect your life choices? What would you do about it? Um... Rosaria's take is a little on the nose. That's a hard one for Razor to answer. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to make this any more difficult than it already is. But Razor's feeling lost and confused right now. And all the other Mondstatters we know are too sunny and bright to tell it like it really is. The sun nurtures many good things, but it can't do anything about the problems lurking in the shadows. Wow, Rosaria. All right, I'll leave it there. <laughs> Take this flower. It's icy cold, just like me. Barbara's busy preparing the sung poetry event for the Vine Lace Fest. She couldn't get away, so I picked an ingredient out on behalf of the church. But can we really use a mist flower? Won't it freeze the entire barrel? No, not now that I've dealt with it. The bard did say to think freedom, didn't he? So go on, take it. It won't be a problem. Aw, Rosaria! You're more thoughtful than Paimon realized! <laughs> uh, wait! You heard the bard say that?! Were you spying on us?! Thank you. Don't mention it, it's nothing. Varka's been a big help to me in the past, so just consider it returning a favor. Besides, if I'm your older sister, I might as well act like it. Good luck finding your answers. getting used to her style. Oh, oh well, as love tender and true goes, that was pretty awkward, but still counts, right? Now all that's left is the Knights of Avonius. <sighs> Razor, are you still thinking about what Rosaria said? Her words are like mist flower. They are cold and they sting. But cold also good for wounds, like wolf hook. I need to think about it. Maybe then I will understand. Okay. I will come with you. I think while we walk.
Here we go. yourself. Doesn't sound very good. So you see, you're the best person for this. Oh, -ho, just in time. Lisa and I were just talking about Razor's situation. Where were we? Ah, yes. The barrel. Huh? But, uh, obviously the next part is supposed to be a defender's will. But what kind of ingredient is a barrel? Fair enough. <laughs> oh, Paimon, don't worry. You'll get your ingredient. I've already tasked someone with sorting it out. The person is very conscientious and wants to properly research their contribution, so it may take some time, but hopefully it'll be worth the wait. As for the barrel, how else were you planning on mixing all the ingredients? Surely not in the giant cooking pot at Dada Upa Gorge. After much deliberation, I realized this was a job for the most sociable and savviest member in our ranks, the Cavalry Captain. So I asked him to take a trip to the Dawn Winery and somehow bring back a wine barrel. Uh, all right, spare me the flattery, Lisa. We're all friends here, and I know you're only trying to help your student. But I haven't been back there in a long time. This could be quite difficult to accomplish in just a single trip. Difficult? For you? Don't be silly. Negotiating is your biggest strength. Fine Lisa Fest is one of the most important festivals in Mondstadt, and you know how D. Luke thinks better than anyone. Just drop a few little hints, like how this is the first festival Mondstadt has had in a long time. We're short on much-needed supplies for a multitude of reasons. Oh, who can help us? When he hears that, I guarantee you he'll offer to help out with finances and sourcing goods. Lisa's literally trying to extort Master D. Luke. Hmm. I suppose. All right. I'll head out right away. Well, you 
didn't take much persuading. <sighs> and Paimon was just about to thank Lisa for the things she's been doing for Razor behind the scenes. Oh, Paimon doesn't even know whose side to be on anymore. <sighs> Traveler and teacher did a lot for me. A lot of work. But me, I still can't answer questions. So useless. Dear me, what's gotten you so upset, my little wolf cub? We can't have you being so down in the dumps. Ah, I see. Hmm, cutie, how about you keep Kaya company while I stay here and help Razor process his feelings? As his teacher, I owe him some tutelage anyway. Come and collect him in a few days' time. The last ingredient should be ready by then as well. Splendid. I was just thinking about how nice it would be to have some company on my trip. I don't know what is right, but I trust teacher. I accept. Oh, well, aren't you a sweet one? But this is as much my business as yours. It's my pleasure, really. Run along now, and don't forget to tell Diluc that the Knights of Favonius send our regards. I'm sorry. My mind was elsewhere. What was your question? Ugh. Never mind. Nothing that important. I was just wondering who'd be coming all the way out here during the Vine Laser Fest. So, it's you two. <sighs> and you, too. Brr, so cold. Almost enough to make me feel unwelcome here, Master D. Luke. Don't forget that this is my home, too. I'm fairly certain that taking a trip home during festival season is a universal custom, common to all the cultures of Tavat. Please get to the point. The point is one that you've already raised yourself. The Vinlesa Fest. To celebrate this long-awaited festival, the Acting Grand Master has been coordinating with both the Church and the Adventurers Guild to host a series of events. Unfortunately, given the financial situation of the Knights of Favonius, well, I'm sure you can imagine. And the Knights of Favonius's woes have... What, exactly, to do with me? Hey, no need to be so cruel. Even I'm not going to take that. Everyone's just doing the best they can for Mondstadt. Now, I can't remember the last time I tasted Don Winery's Fest special. And I'm sure the Mondstadt populace would echo this sentiment. Are you going to deny others the opportunity to drink to their heart's content just because you don't like to drink yourself? Check it out. Kai is not so subtly asking for freebies. He's actually doing it. Anyway, speaking of the knights, everyone dearly hopes that you'll rejoin our ranks again one day. Then we'll be one big happy family again. 
If we were able to enjoy the sterling reputation of Master Diluc, my, I'm sure people would be queuing for our charity booth all the way to Falcon Coast. <laughs> Give that silver tongue of yours a rest. You might need it to maintain public order at the festival. Duly noted on the financial issues you raised. I'll have Elzer follow up with Hertha in more detail. And I just so happen to have a batch of wine that I can offer as a token of appreciation to everyone that has been working so hard for the festival. Shall I address it to you personally? That would be an absurd request, even for me. The words, with compliments from the Dawn Winery, ought never be preceded by, to the cavalry captain. Is that not the unwritten rule? You're better informed than I thought. In that case, I will leave this with Adeline and keep everything anonymous. I really can't thank you enough. Master Diluc is so generous. That's all Paimon needs to get that warm, fuzzy feeling. <sighs> Which is just as well, since you won't be allowed to drink a drop. Huh. Are you two here regarding the Vine Lacer Fest, too? Poor Razor. He grew up so fast. And he's still looking for his father. Master Diluc, we really ought to lend him a hand. How come Klee said he's looking for his mom, but Kaya says he's looking for his dad? It might make more sense to them, but it's gonna get confusing for everyone else. It's okay. I understand. We have a spare barrel in the winery. It's a little old, but it's been specially treated for durability. You could leave it next to a flaming flower all day and there wouldn't be a scratch. I think that one should satisfy your needs. Sounds great! We'll take it! When can we come fetch it? No need. I'll have someone deliver it to the festival market. Just collect it from the Angel's Share stand. Aww, you always make things so nice and easy for us, Master Diluc. <laughs> Thanks a lot! Razor will really appreciate it. You're more than welcome. Helping each other is what friends do. Wonderful. Always eager to help, and never forgets to return a favor. That's the Master Dilu I know. Oh, it's nearly dinner time. Uh, would you care to stay for a meal? How time flies. I'll be on my way then. <laughs> How did you put it? Ah, oh, yes. Taking a trip home during festival season is a universal custom common to all the cultures of Tevat. Now that even Master Diluc has made an offer, are you quite sure you won't stay for a meal after coming all this way, Master Kaya? I couldn't possibly, Adeland. I wouldn't want to trouble you. Oh, don't say that. How often do I get a chance to indulge my dear Master Kaya, hmm? Tea for the cavalry captain when you visit in an official capacity doesn't count. I only get to spoil you if you let me cook for you. Oh, uh... Hmm. Well then, what happened to your swagger? Lost for words? <laughs> Diluc, you... Surely you wouldn't dream of disappointing Adeland. All right then, I'll take you up on the offer. Adeland, one more set of cutlery, please, if you'd be so kind. Oh, Paimon's so full. Adeline's cooking is amazing. Everything looked and tasted so beautiful. Glad you liked it. You're welcome to join again anytime. Oh? Then I may have to tag along on the Traveler's Adventures more often in the future. Ugh, Kai is back to his usual ways. All right, now that our task is complete and our bellies are full, it's time for me to get back to work. Take care, Master Kaya. Have a safe trip back. We should get going as well. Lisa's taking care of Razor, but the Violets of Fest can't do without us. See you next time, Master Diluc! Indeed. Goodbye.
It's been a long time since I saw Masters D. Luke and Kaya sharing a meal together. The atmosphere was... Ahem... <clears throat> was not something that a maid of my lowly stature should be commenting on. Thank you so much for visiting. I hope to see you again soon. Family, huh? <sighs> Don't mind me. You should probably head back and get some rest. I'm not the most familiar with Razor, but you can contact me if you ever need help. would help us get ingredients for Razor's wine, right? They should probably be ready by now. Let's go check! Going. So gross, wait. Honorary Knight, Paimon, please stop her. Whoa, you scared Paimon. What's gotten the two of you so worked up? 
Sucrose and I agreed to present the wine ingredient to you together. But when she heard that Razor will be showing up, she insisted that she won't spend a moment longer here than she has to. I... I'm not good at dealing with strangers. Anyway, as long as the ingredient gets into the right hands, that's all that matters. Oh, that won't do. We worked on this together, and we should present it together. I can't take credit for what you did. It's not about the credit. Wait, so does this mean the Knights of Avonius' ingredient is a product of bioalchemy? Yes, it's a quadruple sweetness sunsetia. Quadruple sweetness? But aren't regular ones sweet enough as it is? Also, why is sunsetia? Okay, um, let me give you the full story. I love the scent of wine. And after reading up on the art of winemaking, I have grasped some of the key principles. In short, whatever ingredients you use, it's essential to include something sweet. In an attempt to select the most suitable ingredient, I gathered samples of all the sweet plants and fruits I could find in the Mondstadt area. Then, I tried them all in turn and took detailed notes. I also factored in the differences between the same ingredient grown in different locations. For instance, Sweet flowers from Springvale are a little sweeter than those at Cape Oath. Wow, that sounds like a lot of work. It was no problem at all. Just my duty as a maid of Favonius. The chance to source the Defender's will on behalf of the Knights of Favonius is a huge honor for me. Noelle, your eyes are sparkling. But Paimon thinks it could be because of Lisa's brainwashing. Um, anyway, I, I was worried that my evaluation would be too subjective if only I were involved. Thankfully, I ran into Sucrose the other day on her way out of the lab. Oh no! What is it, Sucrose? I just remembered why I left the lab that day. I was supposed to go and fetch some lab equipment we imported recently. Oh. Uh-oh. That look on your face seems to say you forgot all about it and have been in the lab this whole time. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. <sighs> Don't worry about it. It's my fault, really. I'll go and see Marjorie about the equipment shortly. Carry on, Noelle. Oh, okay. Anyway, Sucrose is a true professional when it comes to this kind of research. I showed her my list, and she made some extremely valuable suggestions. Please, you don't need to go out of your way to compliment me. Noelle filled me in on the background of the whole situation. I was moved to see how seriously she took this task, even though she'd never even met Razor before. However, None of the potential ingredients she had identified were perfect candidates, in my opinion. What we needed was a fruit high in sugar and easily fermentable. After a final look at Noel's list, I picked the Zensetia sample from near Cider Lake as a basis, with a view to improving it. Using bioalchemical techniques, we were able to amplify the sweetness, then conduct a few tests to compare the results against the benchmarks. Watching Sucrose work on an experiment when she's in the zone blew me away. Such focus and determination. I, I already said don't compliment me. Anyway, the result of our research is the Epsilon series Tetrasweet Sensetia, variation 63. And it's finally ready. The sweetness has been verified through rigorous testing. And the size and color are both optimal, too. Noel shortened the name to Quadruple Sweetness Sensetia. Unfortunately, it can't be produced on a very large scale under the current conditions. But as long as we have enough for Razor. Traveler, there's something else I'd like to share with you. Growing up, I was lucky. I was never the best at dealing with other people, but my parents never placed any expectations on me. They never said to me, you need to be more sociable or anything like that. They just said I should do what I enjoy. So, I'm well aware that I'm one of the lucky ones. I haven't lived Razor's life, and I can't pretend to imagine what it must have been like. 
So, I don't know how much it will mean coming from me, but I truly hope he can find happiness and spend his life doing what he loves. Oh, so gross. Sorry, I am late again. Teacher forgot about the time, kept talking and talking. That's all right, we were just chatting. Whoa, deja vu. Paimon said the exact same thing two days ago. Uh, wait a sec, where did Tsukros go? Wow, she disappeared the moment he opened the door. Hello, I'm Noelle. Maid of the Knights of Favonius. Hi. Here's our ingredient for you. Oh, but I can't take full credit for it. I had help from an alchemist, but right now... She, um... Right, yes. It's a shame she couldn't be here to present it to you in person. <sighs> Smells like potion, nectar, and animal crystal fly. Right? Wow! Nothing gets past your nose, does it? This Sunsetia is sweeter than ones I have smelled before. Klee said alchemy is amazing. It can make things better. That's right. I hope that this sweet fruit will help you brew the sweetest wine. Thank you all. When she has time, I want to thank her also. Leave that to me. I'll figure out a way to persuade her to, uh, to not work so hard all the time so that I can introduce you to each other. <laughs> okay, I will wait. All right, now that we have all the ingredients, we can finally start making the wine. For that, we'll need a barrel, which if Paimon remembers correctly is waiting for us at the Angel Share Stand. Bye, Noel. We're gonna head off now. Good luck with everything. See you next time. Overall, I think this task was a success. Oh no! Sucrose's lab equipment! I should go help her carry it! You two? Hmm. How could you? Razor is Daddy's friend! And he was a good influence! Right up until you got him interested in wine! <sighs> Razor, 
You better promise me that you won't turn into one of those old booze hounds that drinks themselves silly slumps over the bar and bursts into tears. I, uh, I don't understand. Sounds like there's been some crossed wires here. Clee, what exactly did you say to Diona? Um, I told her that Razor's looking for his mommy with the honorary knight's help, and you both seemed really sad and said you needed some wine so maybe Diona could help. But before I finished, Diona said, Clee, say no more. I'm getting involved in this if it's the last thing I do. And then we came here. Uh... Uh, okay. Hyman doesn't even know where to start. Um, Diona, it sounds like Klee left out a few important details in the story. Let us set the record straight. So you're saying... Razor wants to make the same wine that his mother and father once made? So he can learn more about them? Hmm... You better not be making this up to try to pull the wool over my eyes. Sorry, Diona. It was all Clee's fault for not explaining it properly. So, are you still mad? Or can you help Razor make the wine? I caught a bunch of fish for us to eat. Um, and you can pet Dodoko too if you want. I wasn't that angry. You were just trying to help. I understand. I just don't want Razor being led astray, that's all. That's why I may have raised my voice a little bit just now. Mm. Well, since none of you plan on drinking it, then I suppose I can help you just this once despite my reservations. But I need you to know that I'm a mixer, not a brewer. So I'm used to working with the finished product. If you really want me to start with a bunch of raw ingredients, that's fine. But I can't make any promises about how it'll turn out. Yay! Diona is the best! <laughs> Bunch of flatterers. Now watch this. All done! That was quick! Now we just need to find a place to store it. We wait, wait for a windier day. Hmm. Does that mean we need to put it somewhere exposed to the wind? Maybe wind rise? Very windy. Yep, if you say the word windy, that's the first place on every Mondstadter's mind. Cool! I want to come too. I have to keep an eye on my foolish father, so I won't be joining you. Klee, come and play again some other time. I will, I promise. Gliding be faster. Here we go.
<laughs> what a curious coincidence meeting you here. Tongue deaf bard? What are you doing here? Well, I awoke to the most magnificent aroma in the air. After following the sweet scent of fresh fruit to its source, this is where I ended up. Yeah! The fruit are super fresh and super duper sweet! I can smell it as well! <laughs> yes! Oh, uh, I remembered something important. Something that you have to do before sealing the barrel and burying it in the ground. What? We missed something? Razor, do you still remember the scent of that half bottle of Thousand Wind wine? I believe there was a hint of bitterness in there? Yes, there was. <laughs> and with very good reason, too. The source? This! Dandelion seeds? You're familiar with dandelion wine, right? Well, the people of Mondstadt believe that the wind can bring back the soul and also preserve memories. Dandelion seeds are like living gemstones, formed from the first wisps of wind in the year. People add them to the mix at the last second as a way of capturing the wind in the very moment that the barrel is sealed. The memory of that moment is then stored in the wine for all time. So, Thousand Wind Wine is the original dandelion wine. Wow! That's so cool! So now our story will be made into wine too! As for why it always has a different scent, well, that's because people have the freedom to include whatever ingredients they want. <laughs> what is it, Razor? What you thinking about? In Mother and Father's wine, I can smell dandelion seeds, but I don't know what else. In my wine, there is a lot of friendship. I still don't understand my mother and father, but I still have you and everyone else. Everyone has done so much for me. Farka, Teacher, Clee, Bennett, Uncle Brown Cat, Cold Lady, Grown Up with Fake Smile. Gray, tough girl, person that smells like animal crystal fly, Uncle Brown Cat's daughter, Green Bard, Paimon, and Traveler. I remember everyone. Making wine is hard work. Making this wine needed everyone working together. Hard work with friends? Not so hard after all. I'm... I'm so happy. Thank you. Friends are also Lupical. Whether I'm human or I'm wolf, it doesn't matter. From now on, all of us are together. When I grow up, we will come back here and we will open this wine together. <laughs> what a magnificent monologue. Even as a bard, I don't feel like there's anything else to add. All that remains now is to bury the barrel and wait, wait for the fruit to ferment. We're finally done! Paimon feels like a celebration is in order! Um, if Paimon remembers correctly, tomorrow should be wind coming day, right? Wow! The animal god is coming home! <laughs> <laughs> ah, that reminds me. I haven't memorized the song for the toasting ceremony yet. <laughs> I'd better get back. Friends, I shall see you all tomorrow. Get a good night's sleep tonight. Wait for the whisper of the gentle breeze to rouse you tomorrow morning. Then come and enjoy a performance by the greatest bard to ever grace the streets of Mondstadt. Feel warm. <laughs> no, 
not like that. When you think something's awesome, you can say it's cool or sweet. Oh, hmm. But I think Clea is sweet. Get away. Showing up to welcome the animal Archon! Uh, huh? Why is everyone crowded around the Angel Share stand? Tradition holds that the finest wine of the Vinelesa Fest only goes on sale after the Animo Archon has tasted it at the toasting ceremony. Everyone's waiting in line for the big moment. Ugh. So welcoming the Animal Archon back is just a means to an end for them, huh? What about you, Lisa? Are you here for Razor? Yes, I was feeling a little concerned about him, but I just spoke with him, and he tells me that the winemaking went very smoothly. Ah, <sighs> such a relief. A glass of the festival's finest will go down smoothly now, too. Wow, you too, huh? <laughs> Razor and the others are over there. You should go say hi. Hey, hey! There you are! Whoa! What's with all these bottles? Selling your own homebrew now? <laughs> these are for Razor. From us. 
Mommy said that everyone's welcoming the animal god today, and we need to give him some wine. If the animal god likes the wine, he'll turn into the wind and bless everyone. We want the animal god to be happy, so he helps Razor. <laughs> oh, honorary knight! Look what Albedo let me borrow. This bottle is from my dad. Luckily, I managed not to break it on the way here. <laughs> uh, it's just for show, though. I have to give it back to them afterwards. Mommy said that the animal god can drink a lot of wine. She said if he wanted to, he could drink the whole of Cider Lake in one big gulp. So, do you think we'd have enough between these and the wine raiser's parents left behind? Ah, Green Bard. Ah, uh -uh. everyone, I am greatly honored to be able to be here today. I have been invited by Acting Grandmaster Jean of the Knights of Favonius to perform a piece for everyone, Thousand Wind Wine. It is some of the finest verse I know. I dedicate it to the wind and to everyone here with us today. Fill up the barrels and store them away, then wait. Wait for a windier day. Wax the bottles, seal them tight. For the south wind that soothes, for the north wind that bites. How does this fine wine taste to the tongue? As monster to the ear, like a sweet dream of freedom. And what are the fruits that went into the brew? An explorer's courage, a love tender and true. A defender's will, strong as yesteryear Joining the thousand winds in a song of good cheer Turning sour into sweet, bitter notes fade away As we wait, wait for a windier day Pray tell, what treasure does this barrel hold? Tis wheat's greatest triumph, the true liquid gold. As it flows from the keg, what sound drifts by? Wind chimes in the boundless immemorial sky. We raise up our glasses and voices in song as we wait. Wait for the wind to sing along. Where do we turn once the thousand winds take flight? To the tales of the lyre, to the sweet dream of tonight. Dear friends, let us now open the wines. To the Animal Archon! To the Animal Archon. Um, there's no wind. Don't feel sad, Clee. But why didn't he come? If the animal god didn't come home, is it because he doesn't like the wine we brought for him? Of course not. You know, Clee, the wind isn't the only form that the animal archon can turn into. He can turn into anything. So today, he must have come back looking like something else. Huh? Really? Maybe he turned into a Jumpy Dumpty. Sure, Jumpy Dumpty it is. Hope you're listening, Animal Archon. <laughs> Racer, did the Animal Archon bring you a blessing? Yes. I talked a lot with you all. And I learned a lot. Now, I am not afraid. I think that is a blessing. Don't forget to save me a glass of your wine once it's finished fermenting. Yes, we share together and we remember together. Yay! <laughs> but now I'm getting thirsty. We've all done a lot of talking. Let's go get something to drink, shall we? I heard that the Angel Share is selling a new drink called Fruits of the Festival. Everyone's saying it's delicious. <gasps> I want some! I want some! Okay, everyone. Let's go. Huh? 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 Huh?
listen. Take this, crush it, and place it on the fracture. Listen, Missy. Promise me you'll live on. This is where you must stay. You are our only hope. Forgive me, Kaya. Very good. That's my boy. I will always be proud of you. <sighs> After all the time we spent on it, the wine still isn't ready. <laughs> May as well leave it for our son. Razor. What do you think of that name? Oh, an adventurer's name. Yes, I like it. Wait! Honorary Knight! And Paimon, the best guide in Tevat. I humbly beg for your assistance. Whoa! Did Paimon hear that right? Is Paimon finally starting to make a name for herself? Oh, wait. Haven't we met? That's right. I am Bernhard, a member of the logistics company under Captain Hertha. Normally, I would hope to become better acquainted before asking for a favor like this, but time's running out, so I really have no choice. Please help me rescue the charity event. The charity event? Oh, right! Master Jean mentioned that. So, what happened? Well, the Knights of Favonius wants to run a stall during the festival. The idea is for all profits from the sales to go to charity. Specifically, the funds will provide support to disadvantaged children and elderly citizens. We drew lots to decide whose job it would be, and as it happened, I was the lucky winner. I really didn't want to screw this up, so I asked all around for advice, but... My experience is in inventory and shipping. Now I'm supposed to run a whole shop, but it took me forever just to think of what to sell. I'm already completely out of my depth. And that is why I humbly beseech you to render your assistance. Yeah! Also, no need to be so formal. So, you said this is to help out the kids and old folks of Mondstadt, right? Sounds like a great cause! She's an honorary knight, and Paimon's a longtime friend of Avonius! We'll be more than happy to do our part! Oh, I can't thank you enough. Right, let me get down to brass tacks. Before we can open shop, we need to amass a supply of fair brew jellies. This is the basic currency that we will use when running the stall. The wine merchants in the area are in dire need of raw ingredients for winemaking. Sell them raw ingredients and they will pay you generously in fair brew jellies. Also, there are some international customers looking to purchase beverages in bulk during the Vine Lace Fest period. They're on the market for an agent to handle their purchase orders. In the interest of establishing a long-term business relationship, these customers are usually willing to offer a generous price, and there's also room for negotiation with the wine merchants. The price difference is ours to keep as commission, and you can cash that amount in for Fairbrew Jellies. So to sum up, 
up, our job is to sell ingredients to the wine merchants and place orders for the international customers, making sure to negotiate the price, right? Huh. Sounds much easier than Paimon imagined. R really Well, that's wonderful. I have one order here with me already. Uh, Mr. Shavir May from Sumeru wishes to purchase 50 crates of fruits of the festival. These beverages can be bought from the Angel's share stand. Uh, the shopkeeper's name is Georg. He's a very nice man, but he won't be pushed around. Please consider the price carefully and try to reach a good deal with Georg. I should carry on setting up the stall now. Once you've gathered enough fair brew jellies, come back here and we'll take it from there. You won't need to worry about supplies for the shop. I'm already in contact with the suppliers and they'll send everything over once the funds are in place. Alright, sounds good! We'll find the funds and you sort out the shop! This is an enormous help. Thank you both ever so much. Georg, we're Shavir May's agents. He's asked us to order 50 crates of fruits of the festival for him. Oh? Did you say Shavir May? He's a regular customer of mine. Always orders around the same amount each time. But I digress. What price are you offering this year? Hmm, a little lower than I was hoping for, but he's a reliable customer. I think I can make it work. As usual, I will arrange for someone to deliver the goods directly to Shaverme's place of business. You won't have to worry about a thing. Just make sure you keep hold of this receipt. All right, let's keep bringing the funds in. We gotta work quickly if we want to gather all these fair brewed jellies in time. Bernhard says we can approach this however we want, just as long as we raise all the funds we need. We get a commission for every order we help place for an international customer, so maybe it's not worth trying to sell loads of ingredients to the wine merchants. Still, just to make sure we've covered everything, let's take a look at the other wine merchants. Traveler, Paimon, you're here! Hey, it's Barbara! Thanks, and happy Vine Lisa Fest to you too! This festival is one of the most popular ones in Mondstadt. I'm so happy I ran into you guys here. I hope you have a great time. Oh, also, I heard from Bernhard that you're collecting fair brew jellies. I'm just curious, are you helping out with the Knights of Pavonia's charity event? We sure are! Everybody's gotta do their part, right? The stall isn't up and running yet. We're busy raising funds so they can open for business. There's sure to be a bunch of other problems to deal with once it's open, but whatever comes up, we'll deal with it! Wonderful! <laughs> They're lucky to have you. Now that you've joined the team, I just know it'll be a huge success! I helped out a small charity sale for the nights once, too. Although... My only contribution was standing out front and singing. Oh, and I also met the bard, Venti, there. He even persuaded me to perform an impromptu song with him. The music he plays is quite refined and elegant. At first, I didn't want to sing too loudly in case I ruined the style he was going for. But 
He sang a harmony to guide me in, and before long, we were sounding great. In the end, the audience loved it, and we sold a lot at the event. So Barbara's worked with the tone deaf bard before? Yeah. Too bad we couldn't fit it into the schedule this year. The Church of Favonius wants to hold a sung poetry event somewhere with a nice view during the festival, which means I have to go to rehearsal. Yep! Sounds like we've each got our own important work to do! Let's give it our all! Oh, thank you both. Well, maybe I can't stay here and sing, but I still want to do a little something to contribute. I can... Um... I can help promote your stall. Hmm... Should I make some big posters? Or maybe some flyers to hand out? I'll have to pick a memorable slogan, too. And maybe it'll seem more sincere if I sign them. Oh, then again... Maybe telling people in person would be more effective. Wow! With Barbara helping out on the marketing side, this charity event will get lots more attention! It's fine, really. It won't take me too long. Oh, now I feel a little embarrassed. <laughs> Let me think about it a little more and talk to some other people about their marketing experience. Traveler, Paimon, I'll see you later. And, um, the Knights and the Church of Favonius are really proud of you. Aw, thanks! We'll do our best! Paimon's even more motivated than ever now. We gotta make sure we do a really great job here! Some skies in the arena.
skies and the Gliding be faster.
wish I was sitting at the top of a tree, looking out over a... Already? Wow, you sure work fast. All right, our suppliers are ready and waiting. Uh, just give me a moment. Ah, 
What do you think? Not bad, huh? Of course, if you're in a creative mood at any point, feel free to redecorate the place however you want. It's great! Really looks the part. Uh, the, the shop definitely needs a name, though. Hmm. How about, uh, Favorium Goodies? Paimon will take that as a compliment. Okay, Bernhard, so what do you need us to do next? Gathering the funds was a monumental task. It must have been very demanding. So don't worry about all those other menial things that need doing. I'll handle those. You both have more experience than me. It'd be great if you could figure out the more managerial level things, like our sales strategy, SOPs, USPs, QC principles, KPIs. Uh, uh, I've got to be honest. I hear other store owners using these terms, but I can't say I really know what they mean. I just know they're important, which means they're probably best dealt with by you. So in other words, we'll be the shop owners who make the big business decisions, and you'll be the shop assistant doing all the actual day-to-day -day work? Yep. My strength is in execution. Your shop, your rules. I am but a tool to be used however you see fit. Sounds a little extreme. This is for charity, remember? We're not some cutthroat business executives. All right, why don't you go ahead and take a type five, Bernhard? The two of us need to touch base on strategy. Okay, we have a clear corporate mission statement. Our goal is to become the best art snack shop in the whole festival market. Now let's all prepare to give 110% as we receive our first customers. Traveler? Paimon? What a surprise! Mona and Fischl! You came to check out the market, huh? Hmm. One was wise to follow one's intuition and ask Lady Magistus to join the Princessin on a tour of this folk festival. Extraordinary events may yet unfold, even on this unexceptional autumn day. Splendid. Most splendid. Main Fräulein is battling hard to suppress the euphoria in her voice. Seeing you here has put her in the most wonderful mood. Uh, Oz, spare us your gratuitous embellishments. <laughs> Maybe you should leave me to do the explaining. Not long ago, Her Highness had a very nice dream and took it as a sign that something good was about to happen. Naturally, Her Highness's first thought was to come to me for some astrological guidance on the matter. She also noticed that the Vinelesa Fest was in full flow and asked if I was interested in checking it out with her. I, of course, agreed. I can take advantage of the festival period discounts to purchase some bulk supplies for my present column writing spree? I must admit, without Her Highness's reminder, the Vine Lace Fest may well have completely passed me by. <laughs> Lady Magistus, might Her Highness remind you that the dream of which you speak occurred no less than nine days ago? And that only after awaiting Lady Magistus's return letter, in vain for all this time did one have no recourse but to rap most furiously upon the door to thy abode. <laughs> it's been nine days already? Nine days! Where did the time go? In light of the great importance this manuscript has to you, Lady Magistus, one shall not hold thy inattentiveness to the passage of time against thee. But I would implore you, Lady Magistus, to be attentive at least to the nigh-overflowing mailbox outside your door. There appear to be many others whose letters go unanswered. Wow, Mona. You are so immersed in your research that you forgot all about the time, stopped checking your mail, and almost missed out on a huge festival! <clears throat> anyway, time is of the essence. I have a lot of bulk buying to do. 
Speaking of which, it's quite a surprise to see you running your own shop. And a snack shop at that. The most important kind. Oh, actually, we're just helping someone else out. <laughs> Feel free to browse around. Let me think. Uh, can you recommend anything that uh, goes well with a drink? Sure can. If you got the hangries, then look no further. Just that time and check the menu. Uh, wait a sec. Goes well with a drink. Uh-oh. Is the writing going that badly? You know drinking isn't gonna solve your problems, right? As it happens, Main Fräulein has been visiting Mona quite frequently as of late. It is possible that Lady Magistus is feeling the pressure from the constant interruptions. Oh, no, no, it's nothing like that. This has nothing to do with drinking or with Fischl's visits. You all need to calm down. Ugh. Recently, Her Highness invited me to try her signature cold cut platter. Uh, sorry, I mean, die Heilige Sinfonie. It had such a unique taste and every bite was so sumptuous. Before I realized it, I had finished the entire plate. <laughs> Wow. Well, an empty plate is the highest compliment you can give to the chef. The Halaga Sinfonie is an excellent dish. It's filling, full of energy, and has a long shelf life. And, if I'm not mistaken, it's often paired with alcohol, yes? It is, in almost every respect, a far superior dish to the so-called satisfying salad. The sole exception being the steep price. Fortunately, however, the Weinlese Fest is upon us. A festival during which not only are wine sold at discounted prices, but also wine-related food products. This opportunity is a godsend. I cannot let it slip by. Rejoice, Lady Magistus. That dish was but a spontaneous creation, hastily made in a moment of need while on a royal excursion. You shall have many opportunities to enjoy far finer culinary delights than this. Main Fräulein means to say that this dish represents a mere fraction of her full capabilities. But of course, far be it for me to suggest that the true breadth of Her Highness's culinary brilliance can be displayed in a single dish. However, I cannot expect the Sovereign to serve her subject. Uh, what I mean is, I can't keep letting you cook for me when you're a guest in my home. At the very least, I should have something more than salad in store for when people come around. With any luck, I'll be able to find something to your taste here. Huh? Mona? Is that really what this is all about? Main Fräulein, might I suggest alternative phrasing that would be more faithful to your style? Perhaps, long had I foreseen this, or thou needst not fret over thy affinity for salad. <clears throat> Most indeed, Lady Magistus. You have long since earned the recognition of your princessin. Devote yourself to deciphering the secrets of the starry sky. You need not spend precious hours in search of additional ways to delight me. Don't worry. I won't always be as busy as this. It'll be quite nice to work on some other skills when I have the time. Allow Favonian goodies to be the solution to your troubles! In addition to our range of ready-to-eat drinking snacks, we also have a wide variety of semi prep dishes for sale. Why not get a few of each kind? Finishing off these ready-to-cook meals at home is easy as pie, takes no time at all, and can help you improve your cooking skills. Then, once you have more time on your hands, you'll be ready to challenge yourself with some trickier dishes. We can even come and help if you want. The Traveler is really good at cooking. It'd be no problem. <laughs> That's a great idea. I'm almost tempted to increase my budget now. Lady Magistus, your princessin awaits your culinary masterpiece with great anticipation. 
but please keep Paimon's suggestion in mind and allocate your time wisely. Mm-hmm. Oh, you just wait. The next time you dine at my home, I'm sure you will be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Pavonian Goodies has just completed its first sale! That's right! And it makes Paimon so happy to see a delighted customer find something that they really like. Oh, Paimon never knew that selling things to people who need them could feel so fulfilling! Looks like being a shop owner is a pretty cool job after all! All right, let's keep up the momentum and get our name out there!
Honorary Knight, Paimon! Good news! We have some new helpers! These two store owners heard about our charity sale. They want to donate their earnings and join us. What? A donation? Are you sure? Absolutely. Each extra donation means one extra person getting the help they need. Both Pauline and I think that's more important than us making more money than we technically need. This year's Vine Laser Fest is busier than previous years, so we met our target earnings more quickly than we expected. That's enough for us. It doesn't seem right to leave the important task of caring for our most vulnerable to you alone. We just want to help however we can. Please, it's the least we can do. Yeah. Aw, this is the warmest, fuzziest feeling ever. Hmm, but this does mean we'll have to change the name of our shop. Uh, how about... Favonian Goodies and Buddies? All right, let's give this all we've got and make this a charity event to remember! Over here for 
fresh snacks, fresh flowers, and general goods. Folks, grab bargains at Favonia Goodies and Buddies. Huh? Hey, look, it's Albino! Uh, hello there. Looking to buy anything in particular, Albedo? I'm not in dire need of anything right now. I just heard that you were running the Knights of Favonia stall and thought I'd come over. As it happens, Timaeus and I made some progress in our research recently, so I took the opportunity to bring you a batch of our finished product. Consider it our contribution to the charity effort. It's an extra strong sobriety potion that can sober up the intoxicated and alleviate hangovers. Please, hand them out for free to anyone who needs them. Having some complimentary items will undoubtedly help you attract more customers. Sounds like a super useful invention. It must have taken you ages. Oh, uh, it must have been a while since I demonstrated my capabilities to you. I most likely wouldn't have had any interest in research like this in the past. But now, I think that it's worthwhile using alchemy to make people's lives easier in small ways like this. Definitely! Well, Paimon assumes so, cause Paimon's never been drunk before, but plenty of our customers probably have been. It would definitely ruin the mood if someone fell into the lake or tripped over a rock after having one too many glasses of festive cheer. Albedo, you should take some snacks back with you and share them with Klee. It's on the house. All right, then. I shan't refuse. I had no idea you two had such keen business sense. It's a savvy choice of location for selling snacks. There's a festive mood all around, and the division of labor is eminently sensible. If any other Night of Favonius were running the show, it would be a much more, uh... Generic operation. Wow! Getting complimented by Albedo is an amazing feeling! This must be how it feels to drink an extra strong sobriety potion when you wake up with a groggy head! Anyway, it sounds like you know quite a lot about running a charity sale yourself, Albedo! Well, I provided a dozen or so landscape paintings for a previous charity event, also run by the Knights of Avonius. They must have been worth a fortune! Well, the people buying them certainly thought so. Some felt that my painting style was a rare one worth investing in, and offered a large sum of money for each work. This, plus the sizable profits made from auctioning some of my still-life paintings, seemed to give Alice an idea. She used her personal connections to apply for some sort of certification for my artwork. I believe they call it... copyright? Later, many artists began to imitate my landscape paintings, and they became a common sight throughout Mondstadt. According to the rules of the copyright that Alice applied for, the artists need to pay me a portion of their revenue for each landscape painting of this style that they sell. Wealth was never one of my goals. I don't care where the money goes, so I entrusted it to the Knights of Favonius and let them manage it. I suppose it would be fitting to use it to pay for the destruction that Alice has created. But from what I hear, they use it all on charitable initiatives, which is also a noble cause. You never cease to amaze, Albedo! Though it was hardly my original intention, I have come to embrace my unexpected philanthropic achievements. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> well then, I will be returning to the workshop. I wish you and the shop all the best. Thanks for your contribution, and good luck with your research! Come again when you're free! Thank you. 
you. Huh? Wait! You came here looking for us? Of course! Do you have any idea how popular your charity stall is? Everyone's been talking about it. Favonian Goodies and Buddies, run by the honorary knight and their sidekick, is selling all kinds of fantastic treasures and even giving away some wonderful others for free. Don't miss out! People are giving good reviews. Anyway, what have you two been up to these days? Did you go off on a trip or something? We haven't seen you around the whole festival. <laughs> That's because we're still working. Huh? You still have to work? Technically, Amber and I are on a vacation schedule. There are more merchant caravans than usual traveling the route between Dormanport and Mondstadt City during the festival. Extra traffic means extra security is required. Because of monsters and bandits and stuff? Yes. The Reconnaissance Company is tasked with patrolling this route during the festive period. As well as traveling with the caravans to ensure essential goods are delivered without incident. We have to investigate suspicious locations to eliminate any emerging threats. <sighs> that seems like a lot of work. Sounds like you'll be working non-stop around the clock right up until the end of the Vine Lisa Fest. Of course not. We take shifts. While one team is on duty, another is resting, and a third team is on standby in case of emergencies. These three teams rotate periodically. 
Eula is such an experienced captain. She arranged everything this way so that the reconnaissance company can meet the intense demand during the festival, while still giving everyone a chance to take some time off. Gotta say, great organizing, Eula. Yes, all right, Amber. I did my job like I always do. I really don't see what the fuss is all about. Enough, both of you. The festive spirit is turning you into giddy little children. <clears throat> anyway, we didn't come here just to chit-chat. I'll let Eula do the honors. Okay. I need 40 portions of Night Special Northern Smoked Chicken, and 40 of Favonia's favorite pile em up That's such a huge order! What's the occasion? Wait, are the Knights of Favonia's having an official feast? How come nobody told us about it? <laughs> Nothing quite as glamorous as all that. Captain Eula wants some supplies to reward her team members with. Correct. Scouts use up an enormous amount of energy in a single day. Each meal, they eat enough to feed... Hmm... Four to five normal people. Plus, a long-standing member has recently returned to our ranks after a long absence. I thought it would be fitting to celebrate the occasion. Of all the things I could have bought, I thought it would be best to have the money go to you. That way, I can support a charitable cause while I'm at it. Paimon agrees! You made the right decision, Eula. It's what we business owners call a win-win situation! Also, about this long-standing member you mentioned, is it that guy we met recently? Mika, the frontline land surveyor. He was a vital member of our team before the Grandmaster borrowed him for the expedition. Mika! Yeah, that's the one! Paimon never would have thought that shy little guy was such a strong knight! Mika's not afraid of you guys. That was his way of showing respect to you. Although, admittedly, it is kind of a roundabout way of doing it. He thinks all mighty people have unique personalities and prefers to understand what makes them tick and the way they think before properly interacting with them. He says it makes it easier to communicate that way. He was the same way toward me and Amber at first. As we gradually got to know each other, he started acting more naturally. Interesting. Sounds like Mika's the one with the unique personality. Mm-hmm. It'll just take a little time, that's all. You are a high-profile figure within the Knights of Favonius. As his commanding officer, I have a duty to make sure no misunderstandings arise between you. Uh, it's all right, Yua. We get it. You're just looking after him. Wait, Yula, did you just pay for my portion too? I was supposed to pay for mine separately. I'm not an official member of the reconnaissance company. <sighs> if you want to get official about it, then fine. It's officially my treat. There, now stop worrying. Oh, thanks to you and Amber, we made a whole day's worth of Mora in one fell swoop! Honorary Knight, Paimon, I have the most wonderful news. Thanks to your sterling efforts, the funds we've raised in this charity sale have blown our original predictions right out of the water. It's a phenomenal success! Paimon told you so! We're good at this stuff! Ah, but you two deserve all the credit. It's your expert management that made this event what it was. I've handed over all the revenue to the person responsible for managing our charitable funds. And with that, the event finally comes to a close. As a gesture of our appreciation, we'd like to give you both a fee for all your hard work. You've more than earned it. After this, I feel like I could even run a shop of my own in the future. <laughs> Maybe we'll get the chance to work together one day. It feels like we accomplished a lot together. If the chance ever comes up, let's do it again!
gliding be faster?
gliding be faster?
Let's wait till the snow gets heavier and have a snowball fight!
Order guide you. You're open. Let's start things up. Here we go. <laughs> Think you can get away? Off with you.
is ordered. Surrender and I'll be gentle. Think you can get away? Fake for mercy. Freeze to the core. I condemn you. More speed. Solidify! I will have order!
stabilize. I will have order. Yep. Let's play. Time for takeoff. Crush. Try not to enjoy this too much. Beg for mercy. Yahoo! Think you can get away? Solidify! This is order! Brace yourself! Time for takeoff! Come a little closer. Gliding be faster. Yeah. <laughs> Let's spark things up. Uh. Uh. Wouldn't gliding be faster? Think you can get away? Solidify! This is order! Shut up! Huh? Brace yourself! Crush! 
thing be faster? Yahoo! Gather! Order guide you!
get frostbite. Gather! Order guide you! Yeah. A little garden disaster. Right. That's not much joy. We've only just begun. Think you can get away? Beg for mercy. You can't yeah. run. Let's run this quickly. I'm trying not to enjoy this too much. Kill joy. We've only just begun. Frozen. You can't run. Solidify. Time for takeoff. Now you're not going to will be mine. I condemn you. I see your power. I will have order. Gather! Crush! Let's play! Beg for mercy! For a little shock. Yahoo! so Crush! Freeze to the core! No escape! Rack and ruin! More speed!
Order guide you. Here we go. Would it gliding be faster? Think you can get away? Brace yourself. Time for takeoff. Stabilize. Order guide you. Time 
for takeoff. I knew I should have stayed home. Let's play! That was on cold for Gather! This is order! Enjoy this. Time for takeoff. Beg for mercy. Freeze to the core. Eye for an eye. Solidified. I will have order. 
crush! More speed. Stabilize! Order guide you! Surrender and I'll be gentle. Here we go! <laughs> Think you can get away? Solidify! This is order! Fake for mercy! Blood of frost! Eye for an eye! Stabilize! Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory?
Be faster. Gliding be faster.
yourself. Traveler, let's go! The world is full of lost ballads just waiting to be rediscovered.
Knights and aristocrats share the same cultural heritage, but the knights had enough sense to do away with all the superfluous detail. Aristocratic etiquette is all just for show. Just smile and nod along. I was forced to learn all of the rules by heart, but even I don't take them that seriously.
Can I also enjoy the Harvest Festival?
Traveler. Let's go. The world is full of lost ballads just waiting to be rediscovered. Hi there. Are you here to take a look at my stall? I have a lot of newly developed research products. Oh, sure.
I didn't expect you to come by here. Unless... Oh, were you following the fragrance of wine on the wind? Sure. <laughs> the sound of your voice is always a pleasure to hear. Blessings? Oh, <laughs> that. Between you and me, I breathed a sigh of relief when nobody said their wishes out loud during the toast. That would have really put me in a tough spot. <laughs> uh, the Animal Archon Barbados doesn't have unlimited power, you know. I had to take a really deep breath to get the winds of the far-flung past blowing. I nearly went blue in the face. I didn't expect you to come by here. Unless... Oh, sure. <laughs> the sound of your voice is always a pleasure to hear. He's grown up so much recently. Oh, it's such a joy to see. Ah, uh, it, suddenly I sound just like an old grandpa. He was lucky to have friends like you ready to support him through all this. I see a kind, gentle soul with a healthy dose of romance and freedom, too. In other words, a true monstatter who grew up drinking the water of Cider Lake. You, on the other hand, uh, <laughs> don't worry, you're the gentlest soul I've ever met. I 
I didn't expect you to come by here. Unless... Sure. <laughs> the sound of your voice is... Oh, <laughs> I've been very busy on that front. <laughs> I'd long since drunk my fill by when coming day. But, uh... I wasn't counting on everyone bringing out their finest vintage to welcome me. Uh, the fragrance alone was so intoxicating. I had no choice but to make room for a few more rounds. Uh, full disclosure, I also secretly hid two bottles away for myself at the end. <laughs> What do you think of the Vine Lesa Fest? Have you enjoyed yourself? Well, what would you like to know? <sighs> I can sympathize with the anguish of being away from family. Certainly a tragic situation. But tragedy can also drive personal growth. And perhaps learning how to face it head on is part of growing up. Part of becoming an adult. Having the support of some good friends will certainly make that journey easier. So, what do you think of the Vine Lesa Fest? Have you enjoyed yourself? Well, what would you like to know? When I unsealed the wine, it seemed that the words of my late father were sealed inside. I wonder what he would think if he were to see me now. Somehow, I doubt he'd share the same view as he did back then. <laughs> if you say so. So, what do you think of the Vine Lesa Fest? Well, what would you like to know? To the people of Mondstadt, Winemaking is a way of working through emotions and remembering our history. We're only able to make such high-quality wines these days thanks to the peace we enjoy. War is a thing of the distant past. Even though you might not see me reveling with the crowds, I am grateful for this, as much as anyone. Say, uh... Have you tried our latest product, Fruits of the Festival? If you have any thoughts on how it could be improved, I'm all ears. to take a look at my stall? I have a lot of newly developed research products. Um, okay. Go ahead. Oh, this? I actually wrote out all the nutritional information and prices for my bioalchemy products in advance. But the customers still prefer to ask directly. So, I just read off the sheet for them. 
Running a stall is a huge challenge for me. Maybe I could get Noel to interact with the customers, and I do the rest. <sighs> no. Never mind. She's probably busy enough already. Hi there. Are you here to take a look at my stall? I have a lot of newly developed research products. Um, okay. Go ahead. I have here the IOTA series Rapid Acting Deep Freeze Mist Flower, the Theta series Fragrance Enhanced Sweet Flower, Variation 21, and the Epsilon series Tetra Sweet Sensetia, Variation 63. I'm proud to put my name to all of these products. You won't need me to read out all the details. Right? Hi there. Are you here to take a look at my stall? I have a lot of newly developed research products. Um, okay. Go ahead. I'm sorry for running off back then. I just thought that you and Noelle would do a better job of expressing things than I could. Did everything work out in the end? Mixing the Epsilon series Tetra Sweet Sensetia Variation 63 with the other ingredients didn't cause any problems, did it? Oh, and, uh... How did things go with Razor? Phew! Thank goodness. Then... Can I ask you for a favor? I want to make a note of the full recipe for the Thousand Wind Wine we made. That way... We'll be able to recreate the exact same flavor we did today, in the future, no matter how many years go by. The wind is gentle, comfortable, yes. The message in the letter, I want to thank him. I miss him. Lupacol miss him too. Now I am grown up. I want to hear him talk about human father and mother. The wind is gentle, comfortable. Yes. Their voices, I heard them. Human father and mother were adventurers. Teacher said, maybe they didn't survive. I have a wooden box. Inside are treasures from my friends. They are most precious things I own. <laughs> Inside box from human father and mother is all about me. The wind is gentle, comfortable. Yes. A long time ago, I thought I was alone, only have Lupa call. Now, I know many people. Everyone helps me. I will help everyone, too. Humans, wolves, everyone. I am the bridge between city and outside. <laughs> Let's play! Yahoo! <sighs> I'm much more suited to leisurely days like these. I'd love to, cutie. Hmm, too bad I can't offer you some tea. 
I was quite surprised to learn that the Grand Master had written a private message just for me. And I was equally surprised to find out that razor has been on his mind this whole time. Especially given how demanding he is of Jean. He left her to figure out the whole Vine Lisa Fest on her own, and didn't give her a single word of acknowledgement. I'll have to have a stern word with him on Jean's behalf when he returns. <sighs> I'm much more suited to leisurely- I'd love to, cutie. Hmm, too bad I can't offer you some tea. It's funny, I always thought the Grand Master was the one who gave him the name Razor. But it turns out his birth parents chose it all along. Huh. Anyway, Razor told me he heard the voices of his parents during the festival. Like stepping on a rock in the sun. Warm, but also heavy. <sighs> I'm sure he must think of them as both kind and dauntless people. I'm much more suited to leisurely days like the- I'd love to, cutie. Hmm. To- Originally, I only planned on having a glass or two. I- But that was before I came to appreciate how truly exceptional the festival-exclusive vintage was. Before I knew it, I was already rather tipsy. <laughs> I'm a bad example. Don't be like me, cutie. Again? Sure. Did you have something you wanted to ask me about? Oh. Yes, I read his letter. Barbara showed it to me. She'd been so worried about her father Seamus. <laughs> she almost burst into tears when she read that the expedition is safe and all of its members are accounted for. Hmm? My thoughts? You're curious what he means to me as a father figure, is that right? Well, I guess I'm not like other daughters. I can't bring myself to worry about him. He wouldn't be leading that many people if he didn't have the necessary strength and courage for it. He's not the kind of person you need to worry about. Hello again? Sure. Did you have something you wanted to ask me about? So, he's finally come to terms with everything? Hmm. Sounds like he still has some way to go before he can say he's fully independent. But everyone goes through their own life in their own way. Well done. Sounds like your efforts were all worth it in the end. Hello again? Sure. Did you have something you wanted to ask me about? I thought that if I made it to the Vine Lace Fest, I'd have the chance to spend a whole day in the tavern. Turns out there's actually more work during a festival than usual. I managed to escape to here, but I still can't completely let my guard down. Who knows when Victoria or Dahlia might show up and drag me off to the sung poetry event. Ugh. The sooner this festival is over, the better. Mm -hmm. 